Okay, the time has finally come. It's finally here. It's time to take you into the movie room, the cinema room, loft cinema, my home theater. I'm really excited about this. I've envisioned this space being this binge watching area, very casual, laid back setting, and it's finally here. I told you in the last Silk Skirt video that we are only going to showcase rooms that are 70 to 80 percent done and here we are i want to quickly give a shout out to denver he has been rocking with me for basically years at this point he has done a lot of mounting things framed work being put up throughout the house and there's still more for him to do and i told him that so he better get ready we have a lot to put up. I just wanted to say thank you to him even though he'll probably never watch this but I can at least put it out in the universe even though I told him personally. If you're in uh, Metro Atlanta and you probably need someone to mount your TV or put up anything similar to what I have up in the house then he would be a really good person for that. Now the rapport I have with him is probably different than what you're gonna have because he's known me for years at this point but I just want to say he does a very good job he really acknowledges the fact that my OCD will kick in I just wanted to give a shout out to Denver because he does an awesome job every time he comes in the furniture that I I have in the space I'm actually looking into the room that's why I'm looking off to the side but the furniture is everything that carried over from my apartment now that you've seen it the sofa table and the coffee table are the mom sofa table and the mom large coffee table from Ikea and the sofa and love seat is a set from Ashley furniture but discontinued and it's the Darby Spice so in case you're ever on a furniture website that does maybe um, third party vendor kind of things then maybe you'll be able to find it I love binge watching shows YouTube movies Law and Order SVU I needed a room that really made me feel like this is my casual living space I'm not taking you into my living room because there's nothing in there it's downstairs this is the area that I spend the most of my time I wanted classic movies and all of the movies they're all New York classics one of them is based around a major event that happened around my birthday uh, Black Monday is my birthday if you know what it is comment below if you don't do your Googles and then comment below. Very scary, very sad day in New York at that time, but this movie is a gritty version of, what was the movie that Leonardo DiCaprio was in? Wolf on Wall Street. It is the inspiration for Wolf on Wall Street. Boiler Room is the reason for that movie. I'm just really excited. Let's go. I feel like I'm talking so fast and it's just the excitement. Now we know that the bar cart is not fully complete. There are some touch-ups that I want to do, but when I make that video, oh, you're going to love it. I will give you a sneak peek at the wish list for my bar cart. So screenshot that in case you probably want similar spirits on your bar cart. I'm also linking down below the lighting hack that I have for over the poster frames because I don't want to take credit for that. That's not something I thought of on my own. I created an atmosphere based around what I have, what I'm willing to spend my money on, and what I will not compromise. I wasn't going to change my furnishings at all. I knew that that wall was going to be strictly for those posters, but I wanted to display them. A movie light box was too expensive. When I say too expensive, I mean too expensive and the fact that I would have to make it myself. What? Well, I thought of how art is displayed in a museum or an art gallery. I was like, I can mimic that with my posters. Why not? But the lighting that I was finding was very flimsy, very cheap looking. And then I thought, wall scots? I can do like a reading light kind of thing. Then it turned into, I can do a wall sconce. So that's why the lighting over it looks the way it looks. And I wanted to stay true to my design aesthetic. 
I am a mid-century modern kind of girl. That's why it is still very functional of a space. I didn't want the Lazy Boys simply because that would probably provoke me to try and do the level step up. I don't really know the proper terminology for it, but I would want more than one level of seating because I wasn't gonna do all that work. Okay. It's gonna be a whole light show because I played up the lighting since I didn't get a projector. I'm torn on the projector thing, but you know that from the last video. So it's time for the reveal. If you have any questions, comments, or anything, let me know. And I will see you in the next Sills Crib video. Baby girl. Dirty south. Here we go. Can y'all really feel me?